looking around, we can observe different kinds of behavior in people. In this program, we would like to discuss the biological basis of personality. I think this is a topic that intrigues us all. Why are we as we are? What personality is? In psychology, there are different theories. We are going to explain personality using the five-factor model of the B5 theory. This model says that each person's personality depends on the level of five traits. Neuroticism, extraversion, openness to experience, agreeableness, and conscientiousness. Okay, and what determines personality? We all should be aware that personality depends on genetics as well as environment. In other words, this is a multifactorial inheritance. There are two kinds of studies for genetics of personality. The first one is genome-wide approach performs, which analyzes the entire genome of individuals or population at its polymorphisms. The second one is candidate gene approach, which selects important genes in the field of personality and analyzes them. Some scientists have investigated about behaviors of different people in the same situations. As a consequence, they could study mechanics of expression as well as what genes are involved. We can give some examples of how personality has genetic influence. One of these is estrogens and their polymorphins, which condition how a woman behaves. Also, it is a state the existence of an allele that has different development between workers and queen bees. That's very interesting, but could some clear relation be established between genes and personality? Genes contain information that encodes all the protein structure that see the differences between all the people. These individual differences can be expressed as life physiological differences. That is the reason why we can establish that many differences in personality are due to the genetic code. In relation with anger, we can state that people with low serotonin level are more aggressive, where it's more a dysfunction in the serotonin system is related with a suicidal behavior. Therefore, we should pay attention to the genes connected with the serotonin regulation, such as the gene TPH1. Another example of these effects is shown in some experiments released about hormone effects in personality. On the other hand, with regards to fear, there is an increase in the transcription of false protein, so we should analyze the false gene and its regulation to consider different responses. And just to conclude, could some disorders be explained? Well, in reference to schizophrenia, it is worth commenting that there is a gene which confers vulnerability to suffer from this illness. His positive symptoms are suggested to be caused by an excess in dopaminergic synapse activity. Thus, genes related with his regulation may be associated with his, the schizophrenia. As a result, since we are child, we are exposed to several factors such as the behavior and actions of our parents and relatives. All of this strongly influences our personality and, as a consequence, our thoughts and actions.